The Miami Dolphins have a lot to prove this coming season, and they'll begin to do so this coming Sunday when they visit the New England Patriots. The early season divisional matchup will be full of intriguing storylines, the Patriots are looking to rebound back to their winning ways after a year of regression, and these two teams will likely find themselves battling each other for one of the wildcard playoff spots come December. But the biggest story will be the quarterback battle, which will feature former University of Alabama teammates. For the Dolphins, it will be important to get off on the right foot this year. They failed to do so last season, and it would up costing them in the final standings despite a hot finish. They'll face a tough task in 2021 as well, as they face one of the toughest schedules over the first five weeks of the season. Coming out of week one with a victory will be a huge focal point for the Dolphins. Miami is starting the season with back-to-back -back games against division opponents, the latter coming against the reigning AFC runner-up Buffalo Bills. They'll then make a cross-country trip to play the Las Vegas Raiders, followed by games against the Colts and Buccaneers. Getting a win against the Patriots could set the Dolphins up with a bit of momentum going into the roughest stretch on their schedule. Early Prediction Dolphins 27, Patriots 17 Miami will pick up the important win, giving them back-to-back -back victories against New England for just the second time since 2001. How will they do it? Here are three reasons why the Dolphins will dismantle the Patriots on Sunday. Reason 1. Questionable Patriots Defense there was a time when the New England Patriots' defense was one of the more formidable forces in the league. Routinely finishing in the top 10 in most important statistical categories, the unit's consistency was an important piece in the success of the franchise over the years. But New England's defense took a step back last season. They allowed the most points per game than they have in any year since 2002, which led to the team finishing with single-digit wins for the first time in nearly two decades. In the Dolphins' Week 15 matchup with the Patriots last year, Miami was able to rush for an astonishing 250 yards, the highest total against the New England defense since 2013. Should Miami eclipse even half of that total, they should be in good shape for a victory. New England's pass defense is going to be interesting to watch as well. Miami has a new stable of offensive weapons, probably more than Bill Belichick has seen from the Dolphins in the last 20 years. Stephon Gilmore, who is just two years removed from winning Defensive Player of the Year, will be absent for the Patriots, which should open up the field a bit more for Tua Tungavailoa. New England's linebackers will be an interesting watch as well, and Mike Jasicki and the slot receivers could be in for a big day over the middle. It goes without saying, but no Bill Belichick defense should be taken lightly. He is still the same mastermind coach that he always was, but seeing the Patriots on the schedule should come without the existential dread that we've become accustomed to. Reason 2. Rookie quarterback. Big news came out last week that the Patriots would be naming Mac Jones as their starting quarterback, and in turn made a surprising release of former MVP Cam Newton. This was big news for the Dolphins and their Week 1 matchup. Historically, mobile quarterbacks like Newton, and including Newton, have given the Dolphins defense fits. Couple that with the new tight end targets that New England acquired in the offseason and Bill Belichick's ability to use them, and Miami was looking at a daunting task in the first game of the season. But instead it will be Jones who will be under center, whose mobility is average at best. But it won't be his lack of speed that the Dolphins will try to take advantage of. Jones will be playing in his first ever NFL game and will have to go up against a Brian Flores-led defense that specializes in hidden blitz packages that can cause mass confusion at the line of scrimmage. The rookie will have to keep his first game jitters and nerves to a minimum while also dealing with exotic defensive packages. Miami will look to feast. There is a reason why Jones won the starting job, however. He will be the first ever rookie quarterback to start week one under Belichick, and the coach saw enough from him to warrant releasing last year's starter. Miami certainly should not overlook the first-year signal caller, but they'll be ready to make Jones' afternoon a living hell. Reason 3. Tua Tungavailoa time. It is finally time to put the naysayers and their criticisms to rest. Tua Tungavailoa has been one of the most scrutinized players in the league during the offseason. His average statistical performance was overshadowed by fellow rookies and young quarterbacks, and questions about whether or not he is the answer to the Dolphins' QB issues have been on the sports talk show airwaves all summer. From ESPN to Dolphins' Twitter and everywhere in between, 
Tua has been the topic of plenty of negative conversations. The second-year quarterback is ready to shut them up. All reports from the off-season were that Tungavailoa was healthier, stronger, and rapidly improving during training camp, with impressive showings on the practice field and in preseason games. He has a new stable of pass-catching weapons that he severely lacked last season, meaning that he'll be able to explore parts of his game that NFL fans haven't quite seen yet. Tungavailoa performed well enough to defeat the Patriots in Week 15 last season, with a respectable 20-for-26 showing with two rushing touchdowns in a 22-to-12 victory. In looking back at his arsenal of weapons that game, it is a wonder that he even got close to 150 yards through the air. It is officially Tua Tungavailoa time, but no one has any idea what he is really made of outside of his teammates and the coaching staff. But what we do know is that he will be motivated. The haters have been loud, yes, but all of the talk that surrounded the Deshaun Watson situation may have taken a toll on Tua as well. The motivational bulletin board in Tua's house must be overflowing.